If you get the plums out. I will get the plums out. Yeah. Leslie Haynes and Randy Earl work well together in the kitchen. Yeah, no, you go ahead. Okay. This couple is able to do that because their kitchen and the rest of their Pioneer Square home works for them. Randy has a genetic defect that affects his spinal cord, known as AMN. It's called adrenomyeloneuropathy. Can you so spell that, please? I know, Sorry. it's A A D R E. I was kidding, I He's able to smile about dealing with a disability that keeps him in a wheelchair. But his search 13 years ago with Leslie for an accessible home to live in was no joke. And so I just got mad and I said, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna create our own place. They've done just that through the use of universal design principles. In a 900 plus square foot home, set up not just for Randy, but for any person, young or old, with mobility issues. And can work for anyone really, not just, you know, moms in strollers, for, just for everyone. So that was really important for us. A housing and urban development study shows less than 1% of homes in the U.S. are wheelchair accessible. A fact Randy says speaks to our country's focus on youth. As a culture, you know, we don't value older people as much. And this idea of getting, you know, older and needing adapt adaptations, it, it's hard for people. Universal design is not a widely known term. That's Carly Hokey of C. Hokey Design, who's well aware that our region will soon have a population where one out of four people is age 60 or older. That we need a width, clear width space of 36 inches. Carly okay. helps remodel homes you can live in longer, what advocates call aging in place. How do you get into the shower? From simple changes to improve bathroom access, to making kitchen utilities easier to reach, Carly says improving your home's accessibility is a smart and relatively inexpensive investment in a fast-growing real estate market. So that's why it's important. It's because people want choice, so they're starting to demand and ask for ways, how do I stay at home longer and live functionally and safely? Marketplace Sotheby's realtor yeah, Barry Long, right. <laughs> in a wheelchair since 1991 after a motorcycle crash, has pushed the conversation about accessible homes even further. It's a matter of if it's got accessibility features in the home, can you get to them? Barry, with John L. Scott realtor Tom Minty and the Northwest Multiple Listing Service, put Washington on the map as the first state to display accessibility features on its home listings. You can search by any of these or all of these, and you can search... Ten different through, uh, buttons now allow you to see how accessible a home's entry is, or its kitchen, or bathroom, for example. This really does add value to a home. Creating these kinds of listings is one of many priorities for the Seattle King County Advisory Council on Aging and Disability Services. And Barry says more breakthroughs are to come. What we're doing with this technology is now allowing people to truly go find homes that are accessible or adaptable that then they can you know, easily make accessible for them to stay in as long as possible. That's the goal with this project at Randy and Leslie's place where contractor Thomas Jacobson is remodeling the bathroom. New fixtures here have added six inches of space Randy needs as his overall mobility continues to deteriorate. The fulfillment that I got out of it was probably greater than the majority of the projects that we do because it required me to get in and really understand what it was that somebody needed. And as architect Carol Sundstrom puts it, universal design is something we all need. It's so effortless that you don't even realize when a space is universally designed because it just works better for everyone. And that's if we're aging in place, dealing with accessibility, or just creating a home that people with mobility issues would feel comfortable visiting. All these things we need to think about so that it's not just one formula for living. This just lets me do multiple things. Randy and Leslie hope more people catch on to the need for more accessible homes. And they're grateful their latest renovation is finally done. Just trying to make it, um, make it work for a lot of different people. And there's your keys. This is gonna be our forever home. This is gonna be our forever neighborhood. And that's how we have approached our lives here.
Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.